Well, good evening, everybody, and happy Independence Day. I'm going to get to the forecast real quickly as not much is really going to change this week as you could expect to see more showers and thunderstorms. But back on that uh, just after this. Well, hello again. My name is Christopher Bannon with the National Service here in Slidell. Thank you for joining us. And this is the look ahead for your week of July 4th through July 10th. So this was as of 4 p.m. Tropical Storm Elsa is still out there. Right now, sustained winds are around 60 miles an hour, and it was moving to the northwest at 14 miles an hour. Expected to move over Cuba Monday and move into the southeast Gulf of Mexico Monday night, early Tuesday morning, and then approach the upper Florida Peninsula area uh, late Tuesday night, more so Wednesday morning, and then continue off to the northeast. Right. At this time, we're not expecting any impacts from the storm, but we can't let it go right now and need to keep a close eye on Elsa in case it tries to shift any more to the west. However, even if it shifts west, the time frame will push on. We'll have more time to watch, and it still looks like it's going to be probably a pretty weak system. So a real quick look at the visible satellite of Elsa right now. As you can see from a visible standpoint, it looks pretty good. A lot of... Uh, Good outflow all around most of the system. However, uh, looking at the IR image, which we're looking at right now, there's not a lot of storms that are really trying to wrap around it, and thus why it's not really that strong a system right now. Plus, it's probably being impacted by some of the mountains around Cuba. So that's it for Elsa. Let's go ahead and look at our forecast for the rest of the week. And what you can see right now on my map is there are two H's. One H is over the Four Corners region. Another one is over the Western Atlantic. And what that is, is got two areas of high pressure. However, between the two areas of high pressure, we have what we call either weakness or even a weak trough. And as you can see with those arrows being drawn, there's constant little weak systems that are coming over the high pressure over the western United States and it continues to push towards the Mississippi Valley reinforces that troughiness that weakness over the area and because of that we're going to see daily showers and thunderstorms um, what we call it is diurnally driven so what we'll see is as we heat up the sea breeze and lake breeze will start to pick up during the late morning midday hours and then we'll see the showers and thunderstorms slowly drift north throughout the day. But because those two high pressures are on either side of us, we're going to have a really good chance of seeing showers and thunderstorms through the entire forecast. And with us seeing showers and thunderstorms each day this week and into the weekend, uh, you can expect quite a bit of rain throughout the week with uh, most of the area likely seeing anywhere between an inch and a half to about two to three inches. Obviously, there will be higher amounts, especially with thunderstorms, as you've seen the last couple of days. If you're the unlucky person that gets under one of these thunderstorms, you could see a good three to four inches in a very short time frame. So with the daily showers and thunderstorms, a lot of moisture, uh, look for widespread rainfall throughout the rest of the week. And some areas could be could see well over two, three inches by the time we get to Sunday next week. Well, that's it from us over here at the National Weather Service in Slide L. Uh, again, just a recap, look for Elsa to continue to slowly push to the northwest, getting into the Gulf of Mexico, possibly late Monday, early Tuesday, and should remain in the eastern Gulf of Mexico, even if it does start to slide a little bit west. We have time to watch it. It's probably going to be pretty weak, so just keep an eye out on it. It is tropical season, so always need to be watching the tropics. Otherwise, enjoy and be safe. If you have any fireworks during the night, have a happy independence day and thank you for joining us. Have a great week.